the Sensor X is a wonderful camera. The Sensor X captivated me long before I found one. The emblem on the front simultaneously channels mid-century modern design aesthetic and my grandparents' garage door. So on looks alone, what's not to love? A year or so ago, I picked up my Sensor X for five bucks at an estate sale. The battery chamber was fused to the body thanks to a leaked battery and the lens was grimy and neglected. I knew, buying the Sensor X, that Miranda lenses have a mixed to poor reputation and the bodies were known for breaking easily. All of this I knew from reading about the Sensor X's on the internet. All of that, it turns out, was nothing more than internet truth. Truth based upon one person's opinion that repeats through copied and pasted posts spreading misinformation like wildfire in drought-stricken prairies. The Sensor X is a wonderful camera. The 51.8 with the 56mm filter thread is, bar none, the best 1.8 50mm lens I've ever used. The 50mm 1.8 with the 52mm thread ring was another story. The two 50mm 1.4 lenses I've used are second only to my Pentax SMC 50mm 1.4 and came out a much later lens. In fact, one of the 50mm 1.4 Mirandas I have has fungus like a mushroom farm in it. These photos you're looking at right now, they came from that lens. Want to know how the 1.4 stacks up to other makers 1.4s? It's as good or better than my Takamar 1.4. It's better than my Canon FD 1.4. It makes my Nikon Nikkor 1.4 look like a Holga lens. Everything you have ever heard about Miranda warrants exploration with your own experience because a significant amount of the opinion I found on the internet about these cameras was factually incorrect and exhibited a lack of experience from the sources who claimed to know the details. Question internet truth. Question internet authority. Test internet facts for yourself. A couple months back, I was taking photos with the loner DSLR and a retired professional photographer stopped to chat. Miranda somehow came up. He too loved the Miranda Sensor X he had once owned and agreed that the 51.8 on it was the best 51.8 he had ever used. He made an interesting offhand comment about Nikon being responsible for Miranda's final demise. I never could verify that, and the conversation moved on before I could press him on what he had said. It doesn't surprise me though that other makers could have been threatened by Miranda. I mean, the Sensor X was competition specifically for the Nikon F. The main difference between the F and the Sensor X is that the Sensor X has a better meter, smaller body, better interface, quieter shutter, and lots of other advantages over the F. If you take the prism off the Sensor X, you can use it as a waist level finder. If you do that with the F, there's no guarantee that the focusing screen will stay in place and you shouldn't really use the F without a prism as a waist level camera. That for macro photography or low, low to the ground photography is a huge difference. So given the choice, I would pick a Sensor X over an F anytime. So would this be a great camera to learn photography with? Absolutely. Would it be good to use as a seasoned and experienced photographer? Absolutely. Are the internet detractors misinformed? Absolutely. Having used this camera for more than a year now, I cannot understand how someone who has used one of these cameras would be a Sensor X detractor. If your curiosity about this camera brought you to this video, if you wanted to check to see if every voice on the internet is uniform in its disapproval for Miranda, or if you wanted simply to find out a bit more about it, let me say it again. The Sensor X is a wonderful camera.